Hey guys, I'm back with a sample of the day. Um, I know it's been a while, but I, you could probably hear, um, I've been sick, so I haven't even been able to smell. Um, I think I can smell enough today that it's okay. Um, but yeah, I haven't been able to do, I haven't even been able to film, to get my filming done for the week because I can't smell. So anyways, um, today we're going to be talking about this little gem here. This is from Miller Harris and this is called Rose Silence. The reason I wanted to talk about this one is because, um, and this was sent to me from a beautiful subscriber over in the UK named, I think her name is Rebecca. Um, it's been quite a long time since she sent this to me, but um, anytime I talk about this perfume here, which is Stella from Stella McCartney, um, I inevitably get asked, hey, do you know of anything that smells like Stella? <sighs> Sadly, I've never smelled anything quite like this. The closest thing that I can comfortably say smells like it, um, that I would say yes if you want something that smells like 95% like it, um, get this would be, it's an Erin fragrance and I think it's called Grass Rose. Um, the only thing about that one though is that I haven't tested that one in a long time so I'm going to have to pull that one out and give it a good test but I feel like it didn't last very long on me. So anyways, I want to test this out because I want to test it next to this to see if it actually does smell like Stella. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over and wear it as my scent of the day. I haven't sprayed anything on yet. Um, and I think with my nose situation right now, it will be better if I just... Yeah, if I just spray it all on. This is similar though. I mean, it's not like this little thing is kind of old, so it's having a hard time spraying. There we go. Oh gosh, it's so good. Um, this, I can tell you immediately what, what one of the big differences are gonna be, and that is this has, I think like cashmere, musk in it and it also has patchouli in it um, and that's where the differences come in because this one really does dry down to that really beautiful warm cashmere musk patchouli combination that is in the base of this whereas the Stella just has like an amber um, just has amber in the base it, um, yeah they're they're very different. Um, this one, so this is the reformulation of Stella McCartney. I need to go ahead and get through this bottle because this one is starting to, um, in the base of this one, I'm starting to be able to smell that like synthetic kind of cedar or woody note that I don't love in perfume. And it's just started to do that recently. It could be because my chemistry has changed. So I don't want to blame the perfume, but I definitely get that more in the dry down now than I ever have before. But anyways, this doesn't have patchouli in it and it doesn't have that cashmere musk in it. It's got this really beautiful amber. This is actually quite simple. It's like um, peony and I think it's got some tangerine in the top, peony, rose. Um, I think that's it. And then like some amber in the base. Now the Miller Harris, this one, it's beautiful. Do not get me wrong. This one again has the uh, patchouli in the base, the cashmere musk. This has also got black currant in the top. So it's a little bit different from what you get with Stella. Stella, you get a citrusy and the peony, and then this you get the black currant um, and the rose and the patchouli. It's really beautiful. But do I think that it's a dupe for Stella? I don't, I really don't. Um, I never have thought that this was a really good spot on dupe for Stella. It's what I recommend if you want something like Stella that's you know in the same family that's kind of like Stella. This is what I usually recommend, this or um, the Erin Grass Rose, which I think the Erin Grass Rose is actually closer to Stella than this is. Um, I think the Erin Grass Rose actually smells the most like Stella of any other perfume I've smelled. Um, but I always say Stella is so special. It's such a gem. I just don't think it's dupable. I mean, I don't know what kind of magic they 
did when they made this perfume, especially being such simple notes, like such a simple profile, but they worked some magic and nobody has ever been able to duplicate it since, um, which is why I hoard all of my Stella. I've got this bottle. I've got a bottle of the original Rose Absolu. Um, I've got a mini that a beautiful subscriber sent me. I've got a roller ball that the same subscriber sent um, of the original formulation. And then I've got this one, which is the new one, sadly. But yeah. Um, but anyways, back to the Miller Harris. This one, this one is warmer than Stella. This one is much woodier than Stella because of the patchouli, because of the cashmere. Um, the rose, you really lose a lot of the rose in this one. Um, to me, this almost smells, it almost smells like a rose patchouli combination. Well, not almost, it does smell like a rose patchouli combination, but it's a very light rose patchouli combination. It's not heavy at all. Um, it's not your typical kind of rose patchouli smelling combination. Um, it's really, really beautiful and warm. It's like 75 degrees out today. So this is, uh, it might be okay. This might be a little heavy for um, the weather today, but I'll be fine either way. I love heavy stuff, even in the middle of the summer. But yeah, so that is Rose Silence from Miller Harris. Um, if I remember correctly, this one lasts a pretty long time. I think last time I gave this a test, I think it wore for a good five hours before um, it wore off. I will, of course, put this in my what I wore last week video um, and update you on how this wore since, I, since it is my scent of the day. But yeah, I hope that that can kind of put that to rest, that it's definitely not a dupe for um, Stella. However, I think that if you really enjoy Stella, you will really enjoy Miller Harris uh, Rose Silence. It's a really beautiful fragrance, but it's not Stella. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, I do hope that that was helpful and that you all enjoyed this and I will see you very soon. Bye.